Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little um, tips and tricks video or you know explanation of a feature that a lot of people got wrong in Windows 10. So when you're on Windows 10 and especially here in Creators Update when you go to your settings and network and internet you will see that on the left side there's something called VPN. And a lot of you have been saying oh there's a built-in VPN in Windows 10 why don't you explain how to use it well, this is not a built-in feature at all. It is simply there because you can actually add a connection to a VPN here. And the reason why this exists is simple. On many VPNs, many virtual private networks that are, you know, encrypted tunnels between your computer and another computer, there are no specific, um, you know, apps to install or anything, but you get all the details of where the connection needs to be done. So when you click add a VPN connection here, it relies on the fact that you want to, of course, add one of the providers. And of course, here it says Windows built in, but it's not a built in um, VPN. It's you got to have the connection, you give it a connection name, for example, so say, uh, I don't know, uh, sky the limit VPN and here you'll have the server address that you'll have to add so you'll have to add the information of your own VPN the reason why it says Windows built in is simply because the feature is available within Windows and once you add a server name or address to connect to Yes, it is handled within Windows without any extra software. But it's not a built-in VPN that Windows has. It doesn't have one. You have to um, you know, subscribe to a VPN service in order to use this feature. And you'll have all sorts of information with automatic type VPN, uh, you know, uh, PP2 point-to-point -point tunneling protocols, all sorts of things that you can You'll need to choose which protocol it uses your, your VPN uses, and then you'll have to have you know you'll you'll have to, uh, you know sign in information. So once of course you connect here and you give your server name or address here, you'll have the credentials to enter here because you are going to use a VPN you know username and password most of the time to actually tunnel and go through that VPN. So this, like I said, is not a built-in. A lot of you have been saying, hey. Talk about the built-in VPN within Windows 10. No, it's a built-in feature to add a VPN service that you subscribe to, not a VPN that Windows 10 has internally. It just makes it easy to connect to your favorite VPN. And a lot of VPNs, even some free ones, uh, have very often a way that you can connect through directly. So that means that when this is activated and works, you're within your VPN all the time. And of course, there are a few features here in the back that say, hey, you can allow VPN over meter networks and VPN while roaming. So you can turn that on or off. So for example, if you're on a VPN, if you get on metered connection, you can actually say, oh, don't use a VPN over metered connections or use it and so on. So there are a few settings that are for virtual private networks, but it is not a built-in virtual private network. You need to subscribe to one in order to use this feature. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And of course, we will talk more about VPNs in the coming days and weeks, so uh, stay tuned to our videos. And thank you for watching.